Hello and welcome back everybody to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We're now on part four. And uh, let's get going. Shut up, Flanker. <laughs> Well, you're dead. Um, <laughs> okay. Hey, you! Before she was damaged, there's no way Z could have made this journey. Of course, back in Kree's day, there was no empire to contend with. But I would give to see a glimpse of that galaxy. Okay. Hey, easy, easy. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Wait, hang on, am I going in the Oh no, I've come that way, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I did go the wrong direction. Droid. Someone else has eyes out here. Damn it. Raiders. with a backwater planet like Kobo.
don't know what that stuff is, but definitely doesn't look safe. <coughs> it's hard to breathe. moving, buddy. Power's out. This place must have been abandoned and forgotten. I can see it and forget. All these years later, and she never gave up on her mission. We can't let her down. Okay. be able to help it later. Oh, that thing sheds. Okay. Something around here has a big appetite. A warm pop. That's dead. Let's get going, BD1. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just do that. Z's chamber. Crossing that still breathing. around the array are pretty riled up. Could be the dust in the air. Imperial patrols probably don't help either. Ooh. Ooh, nice. 
nice. This will come in handy. Okay, let me just save here. That's dead. Yeah, back, off. back off? No. The Empire is way out of their element here. Okay. Okay. Careful, BD. I don't know what else to say. See her, I, I, I thought... No, you didn't think. You perceived a threat and reacted. If the Order had reacted faster, we'd still have a Republic. The Empire, the Haxine brood, half the galaxy wants us dead. Yes. The odds are against us. But they will always be against us. Cal, you can't fight your way out of some situations. Oh, that's cute. This isn't the time to fight. Now this is more my speed. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.
long they were stuck in this stuff. Looks like that weird matter around here can take on various forms. Let's hope that tower at the top of the array has some answers. Okay. one way of doing it. interested in the array. We've searched all over the array, buddy. This is our last stop. If the key to Tantalor is real, it has to be here. And if not, maybe Z does have a screw loose. Breathe. Okay. That seal looks familiar. This must be where Centauri Kree intended to send Z. The key to Tantalor was sealed away for centuries now. That did it. Sounds like the array is powering up. Time for some answers. Welcome to Tantalor. It's beautiful. Remind me not to let you name the next world we discover. Give it time. You didn't like me much at first either. Jury's still out. to believe this paradise was hiding on just the other side of the abyss. Come on. I want to show you something. Renowned Jedi Knight Dagon Gara offers to be my escort on an uncharted world. <laughs> How could I refuse? Without your guidance, I'd never have made it here in one piece. Oh, careful now. Or well, someone might think you've learned humility. Oh. 
All right. Ooh, what's going on? Force is strong here. It's just as I told you. We'll build the temple here. Yes. My thoughts exactly. Simply wonderful. Yes, it's perfect. I've seen the galaxy, Santari. And there are many worlds that the light of the Jedi does not reach. I'm going to petition the High Council to train initiates here. On Tanalor. But it can be so challenging to access. What if something were to go wrong? Our temple will be a bastion for the Order. Here at the galactic frontier. The abyss blocks com signals. We'll have to invite a member of the Jedi Council to visit in person. Hmm. They've been in there for hours. Council members are not known for their hasty judgments. Especially Master Ronsesis. My duel with the Gendai didn't take this long. You won in the end. Be patient. Not one of my strong suits. Well, if you're going to teach younglings, you had better learn. I have faith in you. So does the Council. Trust them to do the right thing. What's wrong? Warn the others. We're under attack. Supposed to be here. Release me. Please. Alcestis. And you must be Dagon Gera. Yes, I am. You are a Jedi? Yes. But things have changed since you've been gone. A Sith Lord corrupted the Republic. 
turned it into an empire. They destroyed the order. They're hunting down those of us that are left. But you're here now. We can fight them together. Return to Tanlor. What happened there? How'd you end up here? We were invaded. I held them at bay as long as I could, but there were too many. The battle was horrific. Still, we weren't beaten. Not yet. Not until the Jedi Council gave the order to abandon Tanalor and then refused to counterattack. They gave up on it? Yes. It was my discovery! My home, and they just expected me to throw it away! Dagon, wait. I refused to obey and was betrayed by the one I trusted most! Don't stop! <laughs> Trade me and forsook Tanner. I will not be imprisoned again. against me. Stop! I am not your enemy. We're all that's left. What happened to you? Known you would honor your oath. <laughs> Wait!
Montana law was supposed to bring us closer. But all it did was divide our order. The council may have given up on you, but I know who you truly are, Dagon. Even if you yourself have forgotten. She had such faith in him, but she never had to see him fall to the dark side. Okay. Not a bad view, huh, buddy? Wonder if Grease and Boat fixed the Mantis by now. Let's stop here. Okay, so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the episode. Thank you again for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.